everyone, it's Mindy from MommyMouseClubhouse.com. This video is all about my family's seven night Mediterranean cruise on the Disney Magic. Today I will show you our arrival day in Barcelona as well as embarkation day and our first day at sea. If you are a Disney Parks or Disney Cruise fan, you are going to want to hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on notifications so you won't miss any fun. You'll definitely want to check out my videos from our cruise to Mexico and our cruise with two days at Disney's Castaway Key. Now let's get started. We arrived a day before embarkation and spent the day exploring Barcelona on a hop on hop off bus tour that was really fun. Some of our favorite things to see was Camp Nou and La Sagrada Familia, a church that has been under construction for over 100 years. We also did a little shopping at a market downtown and of course had some gelato. After getting a full 14 hours of sleep thanks to jet lag from flying across the world, we were ready to head to the port and board the beautiful Disney Magic. After completing our mustard drill, we headed to Cabana's for lunch. For this cruise, we booked a room number 6644 that was located on deck 6 aft. This room has a queen size bed, a sofa bed that turns into a twin size bed, and a bunk bed that comes out of the ceiling. So we'll start out here. And we've got our queen size bed. <clears throat> Over next to the bed, we've got a light with a cute Mickey Mouse on it. And we've got some outlets and a little drawer with a nightstand. There is a long mirror. We can see Lucas in it. Hello, Lucas. Can you actually see me? I could see you, yeah. I can't. And there's a dresser. You want to some drawers, some storage. And we come over here. We've got the bunk bed. We've got a cute boy on the couch with some water. <laughs> and we've got desk. <clears throat> Wanna open up the fridge for me? Sure. What the heck is the handle for this fridge? Okay, take us outside. 
Dang wall. You can't see very good, can you? So we got this. We've got Barcelona and the Mediterranean out there. Barges. This room has a white wall veranda, which wasn't ideal, but it worked. There is a lot of storage space and plenty of space to keep your suitcases under the bed and out of the way. This room type has a split bathroom, meaning that there is one room with a toilet, mirror, and sink, and another room with a sink, mirror, and shower. If you would like to see a room tour of a deluxe family veranda suite that can sleep five people, head to the description below and I will leave a link to the video from our room on the Disney Wonder. After getting settled in our room, my youngest son and I decided to explore the Disney magic on our way to the Kids Club open house. The Oceaneer Lab and the Oceaneer Club were having an open house, so that was our next stop. During the open house, parents and other visitors are able to come inside the kids' clubs and take a look around. My 8-year-old prefers the Oceaneer Lab, which is this area, where you can draw, play video games, and do activities with the counselors. His favorite thing to do is to pretend to steer the different Disney ships. Job. Thumbs up. So Give me a thumbs up. Which one you are? You're still getting the So you are in Cape Canaveral with the Disney magic. This is the hardest one. And you're a captain. Yeah, this is the hardest one. Okay, don't crash the ship. I will. That's going to be expensive. It's called the Disney Death. Now let's take the secret passageway to the Oceaneer Club. If you have a Marvel fan in your group, you won't want to miss this Marvel themed room inside the Oceaneer Club. My 12-year-old Dylan and our friend Scout joined us in the Oceaneer Club to play with the giant stacking cups. Right, I'm not no, going to no. it. Our tour, it is the Walt Disney Theater. Here we are, deck four forward. 
This is the home of all of your live theatre entertainment. We have a host of variety acts with us on this voyage. For instance, tonight we have the wonderful Pete Matthews, who is a comedy jugglist. Incredible, very good. Uh, we also have three Broadway style shows for you on board. We have Twice Charmed, a twist on the Cinderella story. We also have Tangled, the musical. And our final show is Disney Dreams, an enchanted classic. Bring your tissues, it gets very emotional. Yeah. So this is the Walt Disney Theatre, deck four forward. These shops will be closed whenever we're in port. So all of the opening times are outside each of the venues. So whenever we're out at sea, the shops will be open. We can buy lots of goodies. Whenever we're in port, these shops will be closed. Welcome to the D Lounge. Now this is the home of all of our family entertainment. Any family game shows, karaoke, trivias are all held here in the D Lounge, specifically for family entertainment. Palette. It's one of the three dining rooms we have on board. Now what's fascinating about Disney Cruise Line is that your serving team follow you around the restaurant. So you'll be having the same servers for your whole journey. So you really get to know them very well and they become friends at the end of it. Does anyone know if they're eating here at Animated Palette tonight? No. You are, you are? Yeah. Could be a special. Yeah. Let's go have a look, come on in. There's also live entertainment that happens here while you're eating. My favourite princess of all time, Rapunzel, maybe making an appearance. Um, there's lots of fun singing and dancing and lots of entertainment for you to have while you enjoy your meals. Personally, this is my favourite restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Shh, don't tell <laughs> Sit down here is a nice place to relax. You can look at the portholes as we're uh, going past the water. Uh, sea days, have a look at the uh, portholes because last time I saw a pod of dolphin. Past, so always be on the lookout. So this is deck three, Midship, the promenade lounge. Got it? This is home of lots more entertainment as well. Uh, up until 9 p.m., this uh, section is for families, but after 9 p.m., adults only. Goodbye, children. Go to the kids' club. So behind you, you have Fathoms. This is the home of lots of cabaret artists. We also have uh, Bingo here. So Bingo will be here in Fathoms. Uh, we also, you guys can go. Here we have Keys, which is the only venue on the board which is always only adults. No matter what time of the day, it is an adult only venue, 18 and over. It is our uh, piano bar. So it's, there's a bar in there, lots of couple of sofas. Uh, we have the lovely Lorna Clark, um, who plays some tunes while you sit there and relax with a nice glass of wine, nice whiskey. This is also, if you're booked into any alcohol tastings, will normally happen here in Keys as well. As you see, this is a cozy little Irish pub. After our tour of the ship, it was time for the sail away party up on deck nine. But first, we had to stop for an ice cream cone.
Not long after the sail away party, it was time for dinner. Our dinner was scheduled for Animator's Palette. You can find your dining times and rotation schedule in the Disney Cruise Navigator app. Watery spray. It's not very good, but whatever. After dinner, our room was ready for the nighttime. This is what the bunk beds in a veranda suite look like. The boys went to the Oceaneer Lab and the Edge while my husband and I went to the comedy show in the Walt Disney Theater. When the show was over, we headed to Deck 10 to check out the beautiful sunset over the Mediterranean Sea. I hope you enjoyed this video of our first day on the Disney Magic out of Barcelona. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss our next video of Day 2 on our European Disney Cruise. Also check out my channel for more Disney Cruise videos and head over to mommymouseclubhouse.com for Disney tips and recipes. You can find a link in the description below to get a quote for your own Disney Cruise for my travel partner getaway today. See you next time!